our pinpoint weather and traffic together. We're expecting a snowstorm uh, in parts of southern New England. Will that snow affect those up north as well, TJ? They will get some snow up there, but the worst of it looks like it's going to be limited to here in southern New England. That much I think we're, we're learning, but the exact amounts, that's still to be determined. But I'm going to make a, a guess here in just a moment for you. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar showing no rain, no snow out there at the moment. You got a, a cold start to the day, but it's going to be a dry trek to work. 16 in Coventry, 17 Providence, 21 in Fall River over in Newport. We've got 21 degrees. We're looking on off to the west here from Providence. You can see we've got uh, some pretty good visibility. 17 in Providence, 14 in Gloucester over in Newport, 20 degrees with a wind from the north at around nine miles an hour. We've got some clouds overhead and we're going to be tending to see a lot of cloudiness throughout the daytime today. 19 at Pacasset Bay Retirement Living in Johnston. They've got a wind from the east northeast, kind of variable, about three miles an hour at the moment. Now, the satellite radar picture showing the clear skies we had. We had like a little uh, clear sky sandwich earlier in the morning. Now the clouds are beginning to encroach the area. We've got some snow to our south. We've got some snow to our west associated with a, a little weak system that's going to be passing on by during the evening uh, this evening. But high pressure is controlling things now, keeping us nice and dry. Let's take a look at how this plays out with our future cast here. We are at noontime today. Those lots of clouds around, even some ocean effect cloud, ocean effect snow, maybe across parts of the Cape during the uh, next several hours. Now here we are at around six o'clock this evening. We've got a little disturbance, mainly in the upper levels of the atmosphere. And we've got this little blob of blue here. Might find a few flurries working their way through the area, but they're gone by midnight. And then by tomorrow morning, we're going to be uh, seeing some sunshine. But notice by noontime tomorrow, the clouds already working their way back in. And notice what happens tomorrow night. We begin to see the snow already over spreading the area. This will be on the light side. The heaviest of the snow will likely arrive uh, late Thursday and especially into Thursday night. So here's what I'm thinking now. Uh, I'm taking the word potential out of this. It looks like we are going to be getting a snowstorm and we are expecting a plowable snow with some strong winds as well. So and it's going to be a fluffy snow, so it's going to be blowing around a lot as well. The worst of it right here in southern New England. The low is actually going to be passing pretty far away, but it's the combination of a high to our north and that low to our south is going to create a big wind field here in southern New England. So we expect a windy period Thursday and especially into the daytime on Friday. So for this afternoon, a blend of clouds and some sunshine. Temperatures will be in the upper 20s, a lot colder than yesterday. 29 in Riverside, 29 degrees in Warwick. High pressure will initially give us northerly winds, but eventually we'll get more of a westerly wind today, 5 to 10. 27 in Charlestown, Wickford around 29 degrees. Let's take you up into Northern Rhode Island. High should be about 27 in Woonsocket, Situate 27 over in Johnston 28, Cumberland, Lincoln area about 26 degrees. So we're looking at temperatures around 28 in Fall River, 29 Taunton, 31 degrees in the afternoon over in New Bedford. Now here's the live pinpoint Doppler 12, seven day future cast sunshine giving way to clouds tomorrow about 30 degrees. Now on Thursday, this is when we are going to be seeing the snow kind of pick up and intensity, especially late in the day. Here's an early guess as to what I'm expecting. Six to 12 inches region wide. However, this is very track dependent. It gets a little bit closer and I think we could be seeing significantly higher amounts. So I encourage you to stay tuned to further forecast. The heaviest snow Thursday night, early Friday morning, tapering off by noon on Friday, but remaining very windy during that time. And then it gets bitterly cold for Saturday with morning lows only in the single digits and temperatures moderate a little bit as we head into the early early part of next week. And you can get your updated future cast always by going to our website. That's at WPRI.com. Now it's time to get an update on our morning commute.